Okay, it's working great. This thing is so hot you can barely touch it now. Just barely. Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you how to make one of these pot in pot candle powered heaters. That's all you need right there to make it. A couple of uh, clay terracotta pots, two or three. If they're big like this, just use two. A couple of candles, really anywhere from one to three. And a bolt like that. That's just a five and a half inch, half inch hex bolt with two hex nuts and four washers. That'll just hook these together securely. And a couple of candles. And you put those two together, small pot inside the big pot, flip it over, put it up on a little stand. I'm just gonna use three bricks like that, should be fine. Throw the candles on the plate, and those pots get extremely hot fast. Okay, just start with a bolt and one washer like this. And then we'll put it up under the pot here, right here. Just drop a washer on, and a hex nut. That'll secure the bolt to the first pot. Then all you do another washer on there like that. Grab the second pot. Set it on there evenly. Drop the last washer on. And the hex bolt. Just like that. Tighten it up good, but don't over tighten. You don't want to break the pot or anything. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead, throw it on the base, light up the candles. Okay, throw them on the plate. Okay, 162.5 now. One sixty five. Hundred and sixty five degrees now. Okay, it's working great. This thing is so hot you can barely touch it now. Just barely. And that's pretty much burning me. Feels like an oven. Or it feels like it just came out of the oven. You can feel the heat about two to three feet from it. I can feel the heat easily right there or about three feet above it. If you stand right above it, you can feel all the heat coming right off it. How these work is when candles normally burn, the heat just goes straight up towards the ceiling and disperses throughout the whole room. This grabs almost all the heat and saturates those clay pots and then it just emanates out slowly, kind of like a wood stove. It's been off now for, oh, 15, maybe 20 minutes. It seems like it's just as hot as it was when the candles were under there. I still can't touch it longer than what you see. It's the same. That's really hot. But this is going to stay hot for like an hour or more. Okay, so here it is again. Through experimentation, I realized you do not need the third pot if you're using two large, thick pots like this. Unglazed, of course. That tends to almost hold in too much heat, but two should be perfect, unless you're using like smaller or thinner ones and go with the three. Just one other thing, take care and caution when you're doing something like this. Use a thick bolt, heavy bricks or some metal or something. Use like a cooking trivet or some thick glassware, glass plates, maybe the glass candles. Be very careful so you know you don't want to start a fire or anything.